face it, your dad is the most difficult person in your life to shop for. I mean, does he really need another tie or pack of fishing lures? Instead, why not take an old memory and put a fresh coat of paint on it? Which is what we're gonna do right now. This bench here is something of an heirloom in the Rossi family. Last restored some 40 years ago and long overdue for another glow up that'll hopefully last many decades to come. Sounds great, right? Well, easier said than done, but we're gonna give you the TLDR version so at least it'll look easy. First, we disassembled the bench. Those old weather-beaten wood slats had to go. Well, he does all the hard work. I'm gonna play around with this sick new spray paint can design from Rustoleum, a company based right here in Chicago where we are and whose products, coincidentally, we had already decided to use for the Rossi restoration before they ever approached us about testing their new can design. Speaking of things that haven't changed in generations, Rustoleum tells us this multi-setting sprayer head doohickey is the first innovation in spray paint cans in 70 years. And while we can't exactly verify that claim, what we can say is that we haven't seen anything like this since our days of playing with He-Man figures. It has five sprayer settings that enable you to shape your stream in myriad ways for varied purposes. This one is the high output setting. Next is the standard setting. Number three is the low output setting. So while those three may look similar to you, when you're spraying it, you can really feel the precision and the output in the can. This one is the vertical fan setting. Finally, we have the horizontal fan setting. Now as for which setting's best for a downtown underpass, I really couldn't say. Let's check back in with Eric to see his progress. Next up, paint removal, which required paint stripper and vigorous brushing with a wire brush. We even tried power washing to remove that stubborn old timey paint. Now, time to replace the wood slats. We repurposed some cedar left over from a previous project and coated it with polyurethane to help guard against the elements. And finally, we were ready for the paint. For our project, we're starting out with the number four setting, which offers the best coverage. Then we're switching to the number three setting for the nooks and crannies. And here it is, not just a place for the Rossies to rest their rumps, but a tribute to three generations of dads and sure to dry just in time for Father's Day. This is way easier than I thought it was gonna be. Look, if you're not the roll up your sleeves and get your hands dirty type, like Eric and me here, we're confident eLocal can find someone near you to do it for you.